So 3 determine the quadrant for each of the following angles. Hence represent each angle on a separate Cartesian plane. So we see here it wanted to know the quadrant. So there is rules here. So if it is positive, so we know that if it is positive, it will go counterclockwise. Lawan arah jam. If it go, if it is counterclockwise is positive and clockwise if negative. So counterclockwise is like what we did in uh, mathematic modern maths. So modern maths we have sukuan pertama, kedua, ketiga, keempat or quadrant. So we are using positive. Okay, but then here we have negative. So negative is going the other way around. Okay, something like this. So you have this one, right? Sorry. So if it is positive, you are going this way, which is counterclockwise. But then if you have a negative, so we will always start from this one, from the x axis. Okay. So if it is negative, you instead of going from uh, from the x axis to counterclockwise, you are going from x axis the other way around. Okay. So this is positive and negative, clockwise and counterclockwise direction. So for A, 75, so we know that we have four quadrant, right? So this one is, so each quadrant is 90 degree. So we know that this one is 0 to 90. Every section is 90 degree. So 75 is obviously in the first quadrant. So this is 75 and you see it's positive. So it's moving counterclockwise, 75 degree. So this one is in the first quadrant. So I just write Q1 here. So for B is negative, right? So here. So negative 340.5. So we know that when negative is moving clockwise. So from the X axis, so this one. So we know up to here is 180 degree because 90 degree, 90 degree. And up to here is three hundred is two two thousand two hundred seventy degree. We know that three hundred sixty is smaller than three hundred sixty, so it cannot be one full rotation. So it must be somewhere in the fourth quadrant, where the angle calculated from the x axis is, is negative three hundred forty point five. So this one is in the first quadrant. So this one is in Q one. So see here, so we have this one for a quadrant. So we have 550. So we know it is more than one rotation. So 550 minus, minus 360, you are going to get 190. So we know it's one rotation. It's one rotation plus 190. And it is positive. So positive mean counterclockwise. So here, uh, counterclockwise. So this is we are going to start from the x axis. So this is one full rotation. You see one rotation, and then 190. So we know that from here, this one is 180, right? So 180 must be in the this quadrant. So this one is Q3. So this one is Q3. So D, so we have this four quadrant here. So negative, negative means it's going clockwise, the other direction. And then we see here negative 7, 3, 5. We know that one rotation is 360, right? But we can see that it's more than two rotation because 360 times 2 is equal to 720. And it's more than that. So actually 335 minus 720 so you have another 15. So here is actually two rotation, 200, negative 720, two rotation and then another 15 going the opposite way. So here is mean two rotation plus negative 15. So it's moving uh, clockwise direction. So this is one rotation. This is two rotation. So now it's become 720 and another 15, negative 15. So it is in the fourth quadrant. 
So this one is in the Q4. So E, so we have 4. So this is radian. So we know that 2 pi. So we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 1 rotation, right? Which is if you just multiply 2 times pi to get a number, you will get... Six point two eight three radian. So you see here, if larger than six point two eight three, means it's more than more than one rotation. So we know that one rotation. So we know that this one is ninety degree each, right? So this one is pi is hundred uh, two pi is three hundred sixty pi is hundred eighty. So this one is pi over two up to pi over two up to pi up to 3 pi over 2 and this one is up to 2 pi so we know that pi is actually 3 point something 3.142 right so we know this one is 0 0.36 so it's, it is much smaller than half of this one so it must be in the Q1. So this one is Q1. So M. So here we have negative 4 radian. So we know that 1 pi. So this one is up to pi. Pi is 180, right? Pi is, is equal to 3.142. Or 3 pi over 2 is equal to. 4.71 so we see here we have 4 here which is in it must be in the third it must be passing 3 uh, it must be passing 1 2 3 so we see it is negative so negative means clockwise so this one is clockwise so clockwise from this one this one is up to pi and this one is up to 3 pi over to the opposite direction so it must be here somewhere here which is in the Q2. So we know that the quadrant starting from here Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. So this one is in Q2. So G. So we have 5 over 3 pi. So we know that. So 5 over 3 pi is how much? So 5 over 3 if you divide. So 5 and 3. So here you get 1. This one is 3 and you have 2, right? 1, 2 over 3 or approximately 1.667 pi. Because this one is in terms of pi. So we know that here, this one would be... So we know that 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, right? So this one is up to pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi if we are going uh, counterclockwise direction. So 1.67 is more than 1.5 pi. More than 1.5. And this one is up to 1.5 pi. So because we have pi here, you see, I just underline it. So uh, so 5 over 3, so 1 means 1.67, more than 1.5 pi. So supposed to be somewhere here in the fourth quadrant. So this one is in the fourth quadrant. So H, so here we have, so here we have negative 20 over 3 pi radian. So actually you can divide with 2 pi to know how much, which is equal to 3.33. It means that it's going to make 3 rotation and 0 0.33 rotation. So you see here this one is 0 0.33. So 3 rotation, so there is 2 way, 2 pi times... One rotation is 2 pi, right? Because we have 3 rotation, it is 6 pi. So, we know that 20 over 3 pi minus 6 pi, you are going to get 2 over 3 pi. So, 2 over 3 pi left after 3 rotation. So, this one is 3 rotation plus 2 over 3 pi. So, 2 over 3 pi, 2 over 3 pi, is equal to 0 0.67 so this one is actually 0 0.67 pi 
So we know that uh, 1 quadrant because we know 1 quadrant is pi over 2 right or 0 0.5 pi. So this one is more this one is actually 1 quadrant and a bit more than 1 quadrant. So 3 rotation you see this one is negative so it's going clockwise so it's mean that 1 rotation 2 pi another 2 rotation another 1 rotation 4 pi another 1 rotation now we get 6 pi so another 0 0.67 pi so we know 1 quadrant is pi over 2 or 0 0.5 pi so it must be here so it is in the first second third quadrant so this one is q 3